uh, Pennsylvania. <sighs> Sitting right now. I figured since I think I'm done for the day, I figured I'd just make a one long video explaining what's going on right now. So yesterday I went through a lot of trouble to get my load done early. I've been trying to catch up on the money. You know, I missed a few days. Um, and then my, my check was $1. Uh, the reason why my check was $1 was because you know different a lot of things came out of my check uh, so the first thing being so basically what happened is they have a a, a a program that reimburses you for your hazmat so basically you pay for it and then they reimburse you so what I did was I just got it I, and I contacted them and told them what I was doing I said listen I'll just do uh, an advance, uh, do an advance, and then y'all just reimburse me. Y'all just reimburse it in the advance. That way, nothing. I don't have to come out of pocket. That that was my way of doing it. Uh, but they it didn't go through, and they still took the money anyway. Um, my check was already going to be short because after I graduated from school, I was off for like five days. Um, and then other deductions that come out of my check basically brought my check down to a dollar. So I'm trying to figure out, they're trying to figure out what they can do about it. I don't know. They're trying to correct it. But yeah, my check was a dollar. And I'm not exaggerating or anything. It was actually a dollar. Um, uh, so I went through a lot of trouble to get my load done. I got a load. Everything was good. It was a seven hour drive. I was driving from West Virginia to Massachusetts. I was, it was like a, it's like 400 miles, I think four or 500 miles. And then as I'm leaving, I, I, I seen it said that the trip has been updated. And I'm like, all right, you know, whatever. <clears throat> and then all of a sudden, when I put it in my GPS, it said two hours. And when it originally said eight hours. So I'm like, what? So basically, they updated my load. It was T-called to where I was going to get 400 hours. And they T-called it to where now it's only... Hold on. Sorry, I'm not getting in the door. Why is this not letting me in? So, yeah, so, yeah, T called it to where <clears throat> he didn't let me, whatever, whatever. So, that was that. Hold on real quick just making sure or something but um yeah so <clears throat> so that was money taking slip right in front of me it, they, it was a reason why they said something about oh this is what they said they said the load didn't have to be delivered until tuesday today is friday but from my end they said it was open for delivery between today and tuesday so i don't know i don't know what uh, that situation was but just less money so so i basically told i told them uh who's playing the lows that i'll take anything whatever you got no no response so i'm just uh sitting waiting on a load now i did get a warning somebody sent me a map of places that you know have trucks sitting and um I, I went into a took a chance and went into an area where they said trucks were sitting. I shouldn't have took that chance, but I didn't want to reject any loads either. You know, I didn't want to counter off or reject any loads, so I took whatever they gave me, you know, trying to be a good, you know, employee. But <clears throat> I'm just really trying to make up 
for getting a dollar check. You know, just trying to get as many hours as I can. Just keep keep the truck rolling and rolling and rolling. Um, they said the freight is low, so I don't know. So I might just go in the gym and work out, and hope hope that I get a load before the end of the day. I'll give y'all an update on that.